And we begin tonight at 530 with a stunning new report we've uncovered less than a week before Election Day. Researchers looked at every single state in the country. They found Virginia is the second most difficult state in which to vote. 13 News Now investigative reporter Laura Geller is live in the newsroom with our top story. Well, guys, this was an in-depth look. Researchers examined 20 years worth of data. They studied laws on the books during elections dating back to the presidential election in 1996. Their findings, 48 other states make it easier for you to vote than Virginia does. It's a right of being a U.S. citizen, so you think it would be easy to cast your ballot and make your voice heard. In some states, that's the case. In recent years, legislators have worked to change laws to make it easier to vote. According to researchers, Virginia is not one of them. Virginia has fallen as far as the ease. Michael Pamonte is co-author of the Cost of Voting Index. He explains some of the factors in the Commonwealth's ranking. In Virginia, voters need to be registered about three weeks before the general election. There's no early voting in the state. You need an acceptable excuse to vote absentee, and you're required to show a photo ID to vote in person. We find that states that have more difficult or more costly voting policies uh, fewer individuals actually show up to vote. For those of you in North Carolina, your state comes in at 24th, but one law could have drastically brought down that rank. Um, in 2016, North Carolina tried to pass a strict voter ID law that was struck down as unconstitutional. And had that law gone into place, uh, the voting in North Carolina would have become more difficult. The study reports there are real consequences here. Our legislators only listen to the groups of individuals that show up on election day. So if you're not showing up on election day, you don't have a voice and your legislators aren't going to listen to what you want. And Virginia does get some credit for implementing online registration back in 2013. And Pamonte says the state could move up in the ranks if new laws are passed to make voting easier. Laura Geller, 13 News Now. To make things go more smoothly on Election Day, you might do a little prep work before you head to the polls. Go to 13newsnow.com right now and search election to find our voter guide. The guide breaks down who's running and in what races. It also has links to help you find your polling place and your voting hours.